Okay, first of all, welcome to all. So this is our first demo lecture. What we are going to do in this chapter, in this demo lecture, is we have to study one topic from the your first chapter that is your gravitation. So what is that topic? And that topic is Newton's law of gravitation. So I am going to cover Newton's law of gravitation. Only one topic, but we need to understand what is this Newton law of gravitation. what is the formula for it and how to approach the numerical because in many of the time the numerical which we feel most difficult one in the science right so let's begin with the first what is the gravitation so before going to start with gravitation as everything need required a base so if i will say if you are studying in the 10th standard chapter gravitation so it is one kind of what it is a one kind of force to so, aapko iske basis ke liye ninth standard ke kuch topics pata hone chahiye jaise what is a force what are the types of force what are the units of force along with that the motions kinetic equations and relation between this force and the motion so whenever from the after from the 18 december when we will start at the regular batches in that lectures i will cover your this topic and then i will start the original chapter but our today's mandate is very simple our today's mandate is our today's mandate is your newton's law of gravitation so let's begin first what is a gravitational force what do you understand from word gravitational force or gravitation basically many of times we know what is a gravitation simply when objects attracted towards the earth this is because of gravitation so we have the simple understanding of gravitation that earth attracts the object but it is not the case so what is a gravitation try to understand you can see here different planets different stars and this is the surface so everything so every object celestial object or every two objects they are attracting each other they are having some distance in between them and they are attracting each other similarly you can see in the second picture also what they are doing that we can understand but there is a two person there are two person which they have some distance still they are having in between one attractive force that attractive force between any two object whether it in celestial bodies whether two objects or see in this your books and you you have some attractive force in between so any attractive force in between the two objects it can be called as gravitational force so this is what this is a important first point we have to understand gravitational force is not only the force which will gravitational force which is not so as we all know the gravitational force and who was this who is who was this person okay iska inka naam to sabko pata hai that is sir isaac newton so newton discovered the gravitational force and he gives us the unit also that is a newton is a unit for what force so we have to understand now what is this newton's law of gravitation what newton gives us the what is the law so in the last last slide what i explain you is any two objects whether they are apart from each other they are having some attractive force okay so now the next question comes is what is this newton's law of gravitation but before that if the question is if you are sitting on a bench there is a x student and the y my drawing skills are very very poor so please try to understand so you both having some attractive force in between am i right so why you are not get attracted first question second question this is the solar system this is the sun and this is the planets why this planets are not get attracted toward the sun so there are two questions why this planets or these two or two bodies or two persons they are not get attracted each other i am saying in the first half that the two objects in between there is a attractive force so we have to find out this answers so at the end of the session we will get these two answers so let's move to the next now so next point we have that is newton's law of gravitation but i am not going to start with the newton's law of gravitation directly 
before that i will tell you the one important point here as i said every topic if you want to understand in detail you require some base base is very very important so in this i will tell you now this is this is a mathematical part directly proportional and indirectly proportional so now try to understand bachelo ye direct proportion aur ye indirect proportion kya hota hai this is a very very important topic as such i can say because it is it will it will be useful in every chapter in chapter of heat and every chapter you will have what this two topics so let's understand what is the meaning of directly proportion and indirect proportion so first point suppose i am saying i have i now i have to buy one pen so one pen i got for the 5 rupees right so now if i want to buy the 10 pen so my price will be now become 50 rupees so what you can understand from this is simply okay just give me one minute okay so what we can understand from this is what was the example we have what we have the one pen at 5 rupees if we want to buy the 10 pens i will require 50 rupees this is my the this is what this is a simple example so now what understand here this is what this is the quantity first aapke paas kon hai you have your quantity quantity of the pen and this is a price so now see in the first case if there is a one pen you require only 5 rupees if you will increase the pen number your quantity is increasing at that same time your price also increasing am i right it means there is a same effect i can say so this same effect is called as what we call this same effect as they are directly proportional remember this so they are called as directly proportional on the other half on the on the other end, we have a second example suppose you have your speed of your bike or car is 20 km per hour and you will require 1 hour to reach at destination when you will increase the speed to 60 km per hour so now you tell me what is going to happen your speed has increased now right so if your speed is increased your destination you will reach now in what just in 30 minutes so now see here what has happened here is your speed is increased but your time requirement is decreased so see here the opposite effect is there one is increasing another is decreasing so this is called as indirect proportion or indirect relation so these two concepts we have to remember because we are going to use this multiple of time so what is the meaning of direct proportion and what is the meaning of indirect proportion the direct it means what you have a same effect and indirect it means what you have a opposite effect if one quantity is increasing another it with respect to will going to decrease or vice versa so this is called as direct and indirect so how to represent this generally we represent in this way if a is a quantity which is directly proportional to b or indirect a is inversely proportional to b so this is the representation for the direct proportional and the indirect proportional so this part we are going to use in our next law that is the newton's law of gravitation so let's begin with now newton's law of gravitation so what the newton says Newton says, if there are every two objects, any two objects. So let's consider this is the object one. This is the object two. So any two objects, object one, I am, I, I just, I will give it name as what A, and another object as a B. So this is the object A for us, and this is the object B. so any two objects these all ob these both objects are having some distance in between them so i am considering this distance is what this is a x or i can say it's a d it will be better because it is a it use in your textbook also distance is d so now what you have is you have here object a and object b so 
every object having its mass so i can say this object having the mass which will i consider as a m1 this object also having mass i will consider as m2 okay and the distance between these two object is a distance d so now try to understand what the newton says newton's law involves two things the first point is whether this object a and object b they are apart from each other but they all are attracted towards each other by one force and that force of attraction is called as what gravitational force right so this force of attraction is gravitational force so let's give a symbol to force is f so newton kya kehte hain newton kehte hain that whatever the force attractive force in between which is directly proportional to product of masses so now see what are the product of masses product it means multiple of masses so masses is m1 and m2 so these are the product of masses m1 and m2 and he also says but that force is inversely proportional to square of distance between them so distance is what d and square so square of distance between them so this is the statement of newton's law of gravitation what does it physically significant kya iska what does it mean is whenever you have a two different object with a greater mass so there will be a huge attractive force in between them but whether the distance simple si baat hai agar distance zyada hoga to attractive force kya hoga kam ho jayega that's why it is a inversely proportional ओके okay, इसको अगर आप लिंक करोगे तो हम लोग ने पढ़ा था ए इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू बी ए इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू बी एंड इन विच यू हैव स्टडीड दैट वेन एवर ए इंक्रीजेस बी शुड इंक्रीज इन दिस केस ए इंक्रीज बी विल डिक्रीज टू सी व्हाट यू कैन प्रेडिक्ट फ्रॉम दिस वेन एवर द डिस्टेंस विल इंक्रीज योर अट्रैक्टिव फोर्स इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज बिकॉज दे आर अपोजिटली अपोजिट इन रिलेशन and in this case you can say when the mass will increase your force is also going to increase so this is how your first statement i can write this term i both term as like this f is directly proportional to m1 and m2 and inversely proportional to distance so now whenever you have to remove this proportionality sign you need to take what you need to take some constant so that constant i will put is at what capital g now try to understand what this constant means ye constant ka meaning hota hai uska value kahi bhi change nahi hoga a universally it having same value that's why i will put here the constant capital g that is called as universal gravitational constant okay so now the final formula becomes f is equals to now this proportion side will replaced by capital g m1 m2 upon d square so this is our formula for newton's or gravitation gravitational force now how to use this formula i will explain but before that please let me know in the chat box are you clear with this whatever i have told you अब तक मैंने जो भी पढ़ा है वो आपको समझ में आया है या नहीं जस्ट प्लीज पुट यस और नो इन द चैट बॉक्स प्लीज बी क्विक वी गॉट योर फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला फॉर द न्यूटन ग्रेविटेशन फोर्स एफ इज इक्वल टू जी इन टू एम वन एम टू डिवाइडेड बाय डी स्क्वायर नाउ व्हाट दिस फॉर्मूला मीन्स ये फॉर्मूला का मतलब क्या होता है ये समझ इट मीन्स वॉट एनी टू ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इन इन बिटवीन दर इज अ फोर्स this force is depend on three factors one is mass of that object that is what m1 and m2 second is this force is depend on distance between them what about g sir g will not have any dependency because g is what it is universal gravitational constant it means aapka g ka value hamesha constant hota hai so it is not going to change anywhere on the surface of earth 
so that's why your g will not having any impact on this force it means agar aapko do object ke beech ka force pata karna hai to aapko uske liye m1 m2 or d these are the three factors which is going to impact on the force clear with this so now you have to find now the units now basic unit aapko pata hone chahiye jaise aapko मास मास का बेसिक यूनिट क्या होता है इन द एस आई सिस्टम इज किलोग्राम एंड इन दीजियस इज अ ग्राम राइट एंड द डिस्टेंस हैविंग अ यूनिट इज व्हाट मीटर एंड सेंटीमीटर व्हाट इज द यूनिट ऑफ फोर्स द फोर्स हैविंग यूनिट इज व्हाट न्यूटन एंड डाइन दैट आर दीज आर द्री यूनिट फोर्स मास एंड द डिस्टेंस ना वी न्यूट टू फाइंड What will be the unit for G? अगर आपको G का unit learn नहीं है अगर आप याद नहीं कर पा रहे हो तो no problem. You can derive it or you can just find out from G का unit how we will find it. Very simple. So what is this formula? This is the equation number one. Suppose from the equation number one, I can write G is equals to F. Now G यहाँ पे रखो ये D Will move on this side. It will become F into d square divided by this mass m one and mass m two will go into denominator. It will become m one and m two. So now simply do one thing. You have to put the values now. So see, this is a force. Force ka unit is what newton. So I will write here newton. Distance ka unit is what meter. So I will write here meter and it is square. Divided by m one is a mass, so mass ka unit is kilogram. Mass m two is again a kilogram, so it will become newton meter square divided by kg kg per kg square. So this is my SI unit for the capital G. What will be the CGS? Very simple. You have to replace this by newton with dyne, meter with centimeter. And kilogram with gram, so these are the two units for capital G, universal gravitational constant. Clear with this? So in this way you can find out the answer. देखो आपको MC में पूछ सकते हैं. Write down the SI unit of what will be the SI unit of capital G or universal gravitational constant. तो अगर नहीं पता तो you can do these calculations by understanding you can regenerate that at the time of exam. बट अगर सिर्फ आपने लर्न किया हुआ है दैट न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर केजी स्क्वायर सो आप इसको फिर से लर्न नहीं कर याद नहीं कर पाओगे सो इट्स बेटर टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट डिराइव्ड और हाउ इट अराइज सो एज इट इज अ कांस्टेंट वैल्यू सो रिमेंबर द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपिटल जी इज 6.67 इनटू 10 रे टू माइनस 11 विद अ यूनिट न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर केजी स्क्वायर सो दिस टू पॉइंट यहां पे आपको अंडरस्टैंड करने So this is all about the Newton's law of gravitation. So what we got here is we got two things. First point we got a formula that is F is equals to g into m one m two upon d square. And the second, what is the capital G? What are the units of capital G? And what is the value of capital G? So this is all about Newton's law of gravitation. Okay. So now, so Newton's law of gravitation is very simple. What they are saying. Newton's concluded that in order to move in a circular orbit, moon must be attracted towards what the Earth. So, आपको moon और Earth इन दोनों के बीच में क्या होना जरूरी है? Attraction होना जरूरी है. There exists a force in between them. So, इसीलिए उन दोनों में force होता है. And that force is gravitational force. Which exists everywhere in the universe. This is very very important, बच्चों लोग. It is exists everywhere in the universe. All the objects in the universe attract each other, and this interesting aspect is what gravitational force. So let's have a look now. What is a statement? According to this theory, new what the Newton says: every object in the universe attract every other object with what? Definite force and that value of force that is a F is directly proportional to product of masses that is m one and m two and it inversely proportional to 
square of distance between them. That is square of distance between them. So this is the formula that we have derived. F is equals to g into m one m two upon d square. Next, what are the units? देखो आप लोग जब भी पढ़ते हो तो आपको क्या करना है ये साइंस में न्यूमेरिकल्स के लिए यू कैन मेक चार्ट लाइक दिस सो आई आई हैव रिटन हियर सिंबल एस आई यूनिट सी एस यूनिट सो आई हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस फॉर्मूला सो आई हैव आई कैन मेक अ नोट्स व्हाट इज एम वन मास ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट वन सिमिलरली मास ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट टू व्हाट इज द डिस्टेंस डी इज अ डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स जी इज व्हाट यूनिवर्सल ग्रेविटेशनल कॉन्स्टेंट यूनिट्स आई कैन राइट किलोग्राम ग्राम सिमिलरली किलोग्राम ग्राम मीटर सेंटीमीटर यूनिवर्सल ग्रेविटेशन कॉन्स्टेंट का यूनिट नहीं पता है तो कैसे डिराइव करना है आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू सो यू कैन डू दैट ओके दिस इज योर होमवर्क सो यू कैन ट्राई लेटर ऑन सो नाउ वी हैव वन क्वेश्चन हियर सो नाउ वी विल कम टू दिस पॉइंट नाउ हाउ दिस टू फोर्सेस सपोज दिस इज दिस इज अ पर्सन ए सो यर दे हैव गिवन द नेम महेंद्र एंड द विराट सो महेंद्र एंड विराट दे आर apart from each other at a distance is a 1 meter so the first question is they are sitting together at a distance of 1 meter their mass is 75 kg so see mahendra ka mass kitna hai 75 kg virat ka mass is what 80 kg and the distance between them is 1 meter so now what they are saying is find out the gravitational force in between them so we will solve this now so first whenever you are solving the numerical try to find out the data what they have given you have given with provided with a mass that is a m1 first object ka mass is 75 so m1 is 75 kg m2 is 80 kg and distance between them is 1 meter and what they have asked is to find कैसे फाइंड करते हैं टू फाइंड व्हाट फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन देम एंड देन यू हैव टू अप्लाई फॉर्मूला ओके सो विच फॉर्मूला बी विल अप्लाई एफ इज इक्वल्स टू जी इन टू एम वन एम टू अपॉन डी स्क्वेर सो जब आप न्यूमेरिकल कोई सॉल्व करते हो तो आपको ये चीजें पढ़ने के बाद यू शुड नो द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला और आपको क्या फाइंड करना है एंड प्लीज चेक द यूनिट्स दिस ऑल यूनिट शुड बी इन वन सिस्टम इधर इट इज इन एस आई और दी सी जी एस तो कोई भी एक सिस्टम में ये यूनिट्स होने चाहिए सो नाउ वी विल सॉल्व दिस न्यूमेरिकल सॉल्यूशन एंड आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दिस न्यूमेरिकल वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दिस फॉर्मूला एंड दिस न्यूमेरिकल कैन बी कोरिलेटेड फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ न्यूटन लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन 